Hello and uh, welcome to the next installment of our amazing dojo series, The Joy of Painting, the backdrops for miniature filming. Uh, so dust off your old paintbrushes and colors and follow along. Uh, this is our friend Martin and uh, he's a very great painter in Croatia. There are only three, he is the fourth. Uh, and uh, he is now doing um, a monumental picture of Mount Fuji. Painting. Painting. Painting is not the same thing as a, a picture. Test. I was trying to test him to see if he's a real painter. <laughs> because it's our background to the dojo, which Luca built, and you saw the making of video, and then we're gonna film it all together in one shot. That's basically exactly. it. First I took a big sheet of paper and I stretched it on a wooden board. Then I used a preparation medium called gesso and applied an even layer over the whole paper. This makes paper much stronger or something, I don't really know, but everybody's using gesso, so I used it as well. Um, as it got wet, the paper got very wrinkly, but when it dried, it became nice and flat again. And this prevents uh, the paper from absorbing too much moisture from the acrylic paints. We found a reference photo of Mount Fuji that fit the tone and color of the shots we were trying to make. And then Martin sketched the rough outlines with charcoal. He used charcoal so he could erase the lines easily and keep reworking the sketch until it looked right. And then it was time for color. You can see the format of the painting is very wide, that's because that will be the format of the final shot as well, because the final shot will be in a cinemascope. You can see in the beginning Martin is using a pretty big brush and he's making energetic and passionate movements, which is all very poetic, but at the same time it's, uh, well, it's messy. Painters are very messy people and he, he, he already painted over my cabinets and everything, so I have to put paper <coughs> Here, hopefully it's gonna be okay. I'm blocked now. Eminem is watching you. <laughs> I noticed one thing, uh, our final image should be very warm and very orange, yes. with orange and yellow tones. So how come you only use blue? Because this is just an underpainting. And then later, when it dries out, I will put warm colors in the thin layers, transparent layers, and that way it will look like the, the color is glowing from the picture. If I had mixed it already with the white in the beginning, then the color would be dull. But if you put the transparent yellow over the white, instead of mixing it in the beginning, uh, that way you get the, the glow effect. This is the way how uh, Rembrandt painted. Ah. It's called chiaroscuro. I thought chiaroscuro is just the balance between white and black. Yes, but the effect, technical effect, how they uh, how they achieve that is is, is done with uh, that underpainting, like dead. dead tones. Yeah, because when they paint a figure, it would look as if it's dead, as it's, uh, it's it's without blood. And then when they put on the transparent colors, then it comes to life. Mm -hmm. And that way, also the light would be much more expressive than if they would already mix it in the first first layer. This painting is It's like putting uh, colored sunglasses and then everything is in that color of the sunglasses. That's the best way to put it. It's not that just the colors are mixing, the, also you are mixing the textures of both layers. So. Okay, it's time for a quick test! Every hour or so we will put a miniature in front of the painting and look at how they work together and what corrections need to be made. Ah, let's see! Very nice. It's Very so good! Nice. Should it be more okay. warm? Yeah, it should. It should be more warm. Yeah, okay. So one more glaze over it. It's like he's angry at the painting, but also in love with it at the same exactly. time. <clears throat> so now you're doing another uh, light pass. Yeah, I'm putting some like smaller highlights. And then I'll do another wash on over it, and then I'll do the final, like the just the the, the, the brightest points. <clears throat> Martin painted uh, like another layer of, of forest in the in the foreground, and maybe a, a, a small house. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we'll see. So now we are doing another test to yeah. see how it looks, and it looks promising. First, I have used this brush, and this is number 60. 60? 60. 60. 
Actually, it, it was upside down, so the number is 90, which means it's 90 millimeters wide. Then it was number 30, and now it's number no number, but it's it's small brush. But small why? Brush. Why? Because we are getting into details. <clears throat> okay, this is the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> it's a technique, uh, it's a Bob Ross technique. He's gonna use the painting knife. Yes. And he's gonna make the highlights on the mountain, just like Bob Ross is doing. So let's see how it works. Let's see how it works. Uh, just, uh, just for the record, this is my first knifing the painting. Knifing. But, but you watched all seasons of, of Bob Ross, right? <laughs> The painting is almost finished. With each brushstroke, another dojo far away in the background started to appear right in front of our eyes. First only a dark silhouette, but then with only a couple of confident brushstrokes, it starts to glimmer in the sun. What is this in the distance? Oh, it's a glorious sight of a distant village in the morning. The sun rose, bathing the countryside in a misty autumnal glow. You do love me, she whispered. As his hands stroked her softly, she trembled like a flower. Now all her body clung with tender love. All right, all right that, that's enough poetry for today. Uh, then he just signed the painting and it was finished. Okay, I mean, I'm really satisfied. It, it's really, it's looking amazing. I honestly can't wait to film it. You know? Oh, so, me too. Yeah, in the next video, we're gonna film it. Finally, the dojo in front of it. And uh, thank you, Martin, a lot for, thank you. for, for thank doing you. this. Thank you. And uh, oh, yeah, I, I almost forgot. Wait a minute, just, just a second. Please, please. Yeah, a little something for you. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah so th thank you also for watching, all of you, and uh, we'll see you next time in the next video of Amazing uh, jo Dojo Adventure. Bye bye. <laughs>